Okay, I guess we're going to get the meeting started with the... There we go. Maybe? There we go. So, um, I'm Julia Olson. We have uh, Mr. Hurley, uh, Dr. Sincere Pino, uh, Mrs. Rexroad, Ms. Hefter, Mr. Scores, and Mr. McKnight, and Mr. Strobel, and Mrs. Albright here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I know the, um, the stuff we're going to cover is pretty brief. And I'm sorry we're getting started a little late. It's about 6, 12. And this is the Curriculum Instruction Committee meeting, Monday, December 3rd. And if uh, doc, uh, Dr. Sincere Pino will, uh, can have the floor to give us a math curriculum review update. Okay. So, and Mr. Miller is here. Um, so we asked, Julie asked us just to give a quick update on where we are with math curriculum. So since the last time we talked, which I feel like was like yesterday, it's been a short period of time, um, we do have, at this point, all of the voluntary model curriculums have been uploaded into an insight. Um, so they're there, uh, myself, uh, Lisa Kitty and Rob all have access to those at this point. Um, and then we're going to be <coughs> teachers who are coming to work on curriculum access as well, so they can just be typed right into. Um, Lisa has been working on taking those documents that are typed, but not necessarily anywhere electronically, um, and inputting those into the system. So while they still need to be updated, at least what we have will then be in the system. Um, so that's kind of where we are with those voluntary model curriculums. We have teachers coming next week on Tuesday and Thursday uh, to work Tuesday on algebra, and then Thursday on grades six to eight, and then the following Tuesday to do grades three to five, which will get us math in our tested subject areas. Um, we feel like that's the priority. Um, at this point, we will need to come back around to K-2, uh, but we wanted to make sure that we got those tested subjects <coughs> done and in the system as quickly as possible. Uh, so teachers will be joining us me, up here to work through that process before we leave for break. So we should leave for break with the bulk of that in the system and ready to go. Okay, um, how many teachers um, are gonna be part of the group that's meeting Tuesday, Thursday? So there are four folks coming from the high school, so all the upper one teachers are coming, not all the teachers each upper one right. um, are coming, then there are maybe six coming from the middle school and mm -hmm. six, seven coming from so six classroom teachers and then a math specialist from three to five. Okay. Um, do we know at this point if there will be um, a book, uh, um, book or non-book curriculum <coughs> recommendation changes at this point? No. Probably not. And we just updated the GoMath contract, so we'll continue to use that. Okay. Really, the objective of this process is to make sure that eligible content is taught prior to testing. Um, so it may involve rearranging when we teach chapters, but not a change of goal. And, and you said everybody who teaches um, Algebra 1 at the high school level will, will be part of the process. Okay. okay. Did anybody else have any questions about? where we are <clears throat> okay next week I, yeah. <laughs> so. So, and the other thing that we're doing next week so Tuesday we're doing high school Wednesday um, a group of teachers is going to the intermediate unit to do a guided math workshop there um, so that will be kind of 
that focus back to instructional practice, but uh, those are kind of primary focus, not high school focus. And then Rob has begun government. Yeah, um, NCTM, which is the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, um, we're currently in negotiating with them in terms of bringing them in um, to our in service on January 18th. Oh, wow. Um, by professional development for our, our mathematics teachers. Um, it's just about not the only way we're, we're finishing things on today. Is that going to impact anything that was required uh, training? That it's just the math teacher, so we're going okay. to be okay. We can work around we're, we're it. We're still hammering out a few Okay. A lot of our, our state requirement stuff, like X72 and things like that, they're done in the August in service, so we should be doing that. We've actually flexed out um, a lot of the high school has flexed out a lot of those days for some of the technology stuff we've done. The K8, we can certainly um, do some additional professional development. There's one thing to mention that. I just, I just know that sometimes it can be, you know, chaotic when we try to, like, you know, put something in last minute when we've we've got, you know, standard required training that we've scheduled like sometimes a year in advance and I just want to make sure we weren't causing a problem there. Okay. So anyway, do you have any questions? Yeah, sorry, I just, I don't know if you covered that. With the recent test scores that came out, have you been able to build into them and try to come to that plan? So what we know about what came out is what we knew problems that we need to fix, uh, you know, with us, us dealing with um, Pennsylvania Department of Ed and getting the numbers, what's in there to be right, so we can correctly evaluate where we are and where we stand, but the fact that we were feeling a little stronger, um, well, significantly stronger in, in, um, in the language arts and science and not so much in the math, that, that, that still is the truth that we're, you know, 
as we're talking about now, that we're trying to address. That's why we're going to address math first. I didn't know if you had anything else. No? Okay. Um, I put down new business because I felt like I had forgotten something from last meeting that we were going to add to the list, but I looked at my notes and I didn't have anything else. So um, open it to the floor if there's something else we need to talk about at the moment. No? Is there any public comment? And um, if, that's, if we don't, then I guess we're ready to adjourn. It is 623. So thank you, everybody.